One of the main things in Season 2 of The White Lotus and the moment that we're driving towards is the reveal of who hasn't survived their trip to Sicily. With it looking like it could quite literally be anybody, as motives, intentions, and suspects have changed as the season's gone on, I thought I'd break down and explain who I believe may not survive, along with giving my theories and predictions on who could be responsible for the tragic events. So let's get into it. Here is why these characters won't survive The White Lotus Season 2. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. So if we take a look at what we know first, we know that there's a body in the sea that was discovered by Daphne, and we know that there were a couple of other guests that have been killed due to Rocco saying exactly that to Valentina on the edge of the beach. When we take a look at Daphne's reaction upon the discovery of the person in the sea, she didn't act as if she knew who the person was. If it was Cameron, I imagine she would have been mortified as it was her husband. Likewise, if it was either Harper or Ethan, as they were her friends. There would have been far more upset as there would have been a sense of familiarity there, along with love and care. Daphne's response was that of somebody who had discovered something horrific, but there was no personal connection to it. With a body looking as though it's washing up on the shore, it would make you think that it would have happened either out at sea, or an island just off of the coast of the Sicilian beach due to the direction of it coming inwards. The people that we know that are off of mainland Sicily are Tanya, Quentin, Portia, and Jack. So this makes me think that it could be one of these four individuals. With it looking as though Jack is going to be spiralling out of control in the final episode, and it seeming as though Portia is viewed as a witness to all that Quentin is up to in what I would imagine is working with Greg to get Tanya's money by orchestrating her cheating on him, which could spark the infidelity clause in their prenup marriage, I feel she could be at risk. I think Jack, who we know was previously stuck in a hole, could have been hired by Quentin to take out Portia so there would be no witnesses. Jack would get a financial reward which would get him out of his hole that he spoke about, so it would mean that there would be a good enough reason in his eyes to do so. We know that Quentin doesn't care for Jack as he's not a relative due to what we saw in episode 5, so Jack is most likely viewed as disposable from Quentin's side too, but I think he's been hired to take out Portia. With Jack also giving a speech about not knowing if you're going to be there tomorrow and saying how you should appreciate each day as it comes, I think this could well be a possibility. So I think Portia is the first person who may not make it back from her trip. I think it would also be a cruel ending for the character, but I think that could well be the case. We had a shot of Tanya on the boat coming back to the mainland, so I don't think it's going to be her that does die. However, her worry around where Portia is does make me think that this theory could stand up a little more. That then leaves a couple of other characters whose fates are going to be sealed in the final episode. If we go back to the scene on the beach at the start of the season, I feel there is another clue to a death that could potentially occur. I don't think Harper and Ethan are going to succumb to anything bad. I actually think they may have an okay ending, despite the fight that we witnessed in the trailer. I think both Ethan and Cameron will survive that specific moment. However, I do think that Cameron may be one of the bodies that gets found and is spoken about by Rocco. In the opening scene, Daphne is down by the beach on her own. There are no towels on the seat next to her, nor are there any other bags. Whilst it looked as though the person comforting her once she discovered the body was Cameron, it seems as though it was just a character that very much looked like him as we saw the same gentleman wearing the same shorts in an earlier shot, and it's not Cameron. This makes me think one of two things. Either Daphne is behind the killing of her husband, or somebody else has killed Cameron, and the person that I believe could potentially do that would be Lucia. I have reasonings behind both of these suspects. We know that Cameron owes Lucia money for the night that they spent together in episode 3, and we've seen it be made a key focus throughout the entirety of the show. If it wasn't important, then I feel it wouldn't get brought up as frequently as it does. In the title sequence, with the animal next to the actor who plays Lucia having a bird in its mouth, and there being a bird tattooed on Cameron's leg, it does make me wonder if she's going to be the person who causes his demise. This could be in the sense that she's the person who kills him due to the money that's owed. We could potentially see Alessio come after Lucia to get his money and Cameron interfere if the story behind Alessio is true, or Lucia could tell Daphne of the night in question, and Daphne could lose her sense of control. The story behind the symbolic heads that we've seen would also represent that story too. We know that Daphne is aware of what Cameron gets up to, but everybody has their limit, and we could see her feel as though she's had enough, whether it be in a moment of rage or madness. She can end up doing something that she regrets. 
so I feel as though Cameron could potentially be another victim on the trip. This then leaves what I imagine would be one more person that may succumb to the trip, and for this, I feel there are a couple of different options. I feel we could see Lucia be one of the people who doesn't survive. Rocco says guests when he refers to the people that have died, and with Lucia and Mia being put on the room by Dominic, it meant that technically they became guests of the hotel. If Lucia is lying to Albi about the story of Alessio and her true feelings for Albi, we could see her plan to extort him for as much money as she possibly can. She knows the family are well off due to the time that she spent with his father. In response to Albi being scammed out of a lot of money, we could see Dominic approach her. I feel by this point as well, we would have seen Dominic tell Albi about him being with Lucia, and it could have driven a stronger wedge between the father and son. With Dominic going to approach Lucia and him feeling as though he's got nothing left to lose due to his whole family essentially walking away from him, he could end up taking out Lucia. There was a look that Dominic had in episode 2 of the show and I've not been able to shake it. It was one that kind of said to me that there's more to this character and I feel he could have a violent streak in him. So that could be something that causes Lucia's demise. If it's not to be Lucia, then I feel we could see Mia potentially be one of the victims. With what she did to Giuseppe, I feel it may be perceived as deliberate. And with Giuseppe most likely out of a job, with Mia taking his place, it could mean that he'd have no way of being able to make money. And just like we could see with Dominic, Giuseppe could feel as though he has nothing left. And the person he'd turn to and blame would be the very person who was the reason behind why he'd have nothing. And that would be Mia. So I feel Portia will be one, Cameron will be one, and I also feel as though we could see either Mia or Lucia be victims to the White Lotus Season 2. Whilst I believe it could have this outcome, there are still parts of me that believe it could be many other characters, but these are the ones that I have the biggest hunch about. That's the beauty of the show. Even as we approach the final episode, there's still no telling. So, there you have it. Why these characters won't survive the White Lotus Season 2. If you want to see more videos on the White Lotus, such as Endings Explained, Theories and Predictions, and Character Breakdowns, then click on the i button. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all. If you'd like to give me a show or movie that you'd like me to review next, then head over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore, and tweet me what show or movie you'd like me to review. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate the latest movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my Letterboxd profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. Who do you think won't survive? Leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. <laughs>